This week in PC gaming, the Mass Effect remaster saves our summers, Subnautica gets a chilly sequel, and Assassin's Creed goes to Ireland. I'm James Davenport with PC Gamer, where the PC stands for Peasant Carnage, which would have been a pretty good subtitle for Resident Evil Village, don't you think? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Yeah, 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 more games are coming out, whatever. So who are you gonna kiss the Mass Effect this time around? It's a heist game. A competitive multiplayer heist game. It's a medieval competitive multiplayer heist game. It's a medieval competitive multiplayer heist game with AI controlled guards. So, Hood, Outlaws and Legends is the kind of game I'd expect a video game title generation machine to spit out. But the premise is certainly something unique. It's out May 10th. Great news, everyone. Some games you can play on the computer. They're coming back to the computer. Well, they were already there. Anyway, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition packs in all three of Bioware's sci-fi RPGs into one package. Yeah, I'm skipping Andromeda, so. And gives each a facelift. The original's getting the biggest makeover though, with a significant visual upgrade in some parts, and some combat tweaks, which is kind of surprising for such an old game. The only downgrade, the Notorious Mako's getting fixed. Fixed. But that floaty bus was already perfect. It's criminal. What began as an expansion to one of the best survival games ever made is now just a whole ass standalone sequel. Subnautica Below Zero. It's out May 14th, and in it, you return to Planet 4546B, very cool name, a few years after the original game. This time, you're headed to colder climates, though, and you're gonna spend time exploring the icy surface between dives. It looks pretty cool. Cool. As in cold, like ice. So, joke. It's a joke about the name. Eivor's going to Ireland, baby. Yeah, the first of Assassin's Creed Valhalla's expansions is gonna set you up against ancient druidic cults and supersized Gaelic myths in a spooky new region. Yeah, Ireland is spooky. It's spooky, it's pretty, but it's spooky, you know? You're gonna get new story quests, plenty of open world task mastering on the way. All of this when Wrath of the Druids arrives May 13th. <laughs> This Week in PC Gaming is brought to you by Cars. Big shout out to Cars. There wouldn't be PC Gaming without you. That's it for This Week in PC Gaming. Sorry, gotta go. For more PC Gaming news, reviews, features, whatever you want, we got it. PCGamer.com. We got a podcast too. This Week in... Nope. It's called... I'm not gonna do that again. It's called The PC Gamer Show. Find it wherever you subscribe to podcasts. This week we're talking about Resident Evil Village. Diving deeper into Andy Kelly's review. I played through it twice, so I have plenty to say. I also love it. Fantastic game. Spoiler-free discussion, by the way, so don't, don't sweat it. Come hang out. Uh, yeah. And until next week, that's it. Don't forget to what? Game on. Continue gaming. Game on. Game onward. Okay.